Are you expanding your team and need users to safely access your Amazon account? Well, what you don't want to do is give them the username and password that you use to log in with. Instead, you can send them an invitation through Amazon where they can create their own account so they can log in and then you decide what they do and don't have access to in your account. For example, maybe you hired a PPC manager and you only want them to access the advertising stuff. Or maybe you hired an accountant who needs to access and download your reports. Or maybe you brought on a business partner and you need to grant them full admin permissions. Now let's get into the tutorial. So to access user permissions, we're going to go up to settings and click user permissions. If you have any current users, you'll see them here. Scroll down and enter in the name and email address of the person you'd like to grant permissions to. You're able to add up to 100 users. Then click Invite. You'll then see the Your Invitation Has Been Sent message. And then if you scroll down to the Open Invitation section, you'll see the people that you have invited and you have the option to resend the invitation if they didn't get it in their email, or if you sent it to the wrong person, you can click delete. They're then going to receive an email from Amazon that looks like this. They're going to click on the link that was sent to them and then they're able to create their own login credentials. Once they accept the invitation and make their account, their permissions are automatically going to be set to none. So next, we're going to go into Manage Permissions. And there's all these different options you can give them access to. Also, there's four levels of access that you can grant. None means they do not have access to these areas. View means they're able to view these areas but not make any changes. View and edit. They're able to view and edit these areas. And admin gives them full control of that area. Again, this is the safe way to grant someone access to your account. You never want to give out your own username and password because then you'd be giving them full access to your account. If you're worried about money or credit card stuff, they don't have access to that. There actually used to be a bank account section that you could grant them permission to, but it looks like Amazon has removed that in recent years. So you don't have to worry, but also just in general, make sure you understand what the permission is that you are granting to this user before doing it. So go ahead and make your changes, then click continue. It will then show you what you just updated. So red was what it was before you made the changes, and green is now what their permissions are currently set to. If you ever need to revoke a user's access, you just simply go back to User Permissions under Settings, then hit the Delete button beside their name and email address. Now the next tip I'd like to touch on is the user permissions history section. So I have someone on my team who has permission to give permissions to other people. So maybe I wanna see who they've given permissions to or revoked permissions from. So we're going to go up to settings and click user permissions history. And then select your desired date range. Let's just go way back. So it gives you the date and time, the user and the event, so granted permission, and then details, so what permissions that they granted. And you can sort it by all events or granted permission or revoked permission. So if you have someone else on your team who has permission to give permissions, it's nice to have a history that you can look through and keep an eye on your account. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so it can spread to and help more people. If you want to learn more Amazon tips and tricks from me, you will love this playlist at a link right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future videos from me. And if you have any questions at all or video suggestions, feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.